Today, we're talking about the importance of behind the scenes when it comes to your prices, your business, how you look, how you appeal, how you show value, and why it is so important. It's so important. A lot of you guys are skipping over this part. It's so important. I can't tell you how many times myself and other clients, whenever they've received demo reels and they show pretty pictures and all this dope stuff, you wonder what part that they have in this. Behind the scenes footage helps make things easier for the client. You want to do what you can do to make sure that it's easy for the client to know that you are the best person for this job at whatever price you have listed. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll graphics and we're going to talk about it. This is one of the only places on the internet that is designed to teach you how to get that bag using your creative skills and ability. This is Flash Film Academy. My name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer, the owner of Flash Film Media. I am here to help you understand what it takes to turn your passion into profit, period. Let's talk about a few things, right? But why behind the scenes footage is so very valuable, so very valuable for what we do. Let's do this. You ever lived in the hood? You ever lived in the hood hood where when you went to the gas station, they didn't let you in the building? They just they made you pick and choose what you wanted through the glass? Some of you have that experience. Some of you don't. You ever came to the window and you're like, the Cheetos way back there. You know the feeling. The feeling when you can't go in and pick and touch and see what it is that you're getting. When you are a content creator and you don't have behind the scenes footage, that's what it feels like to clients. It's difficult for them to take that chance on your company if they don't understand how this was created. It feels like magic and not like something that can be produced consistently over and over again. Clients want to know that you can come in and consistently over and over again, replicate the quality that you pulled them in on, the quality that got their attention. They want to see that you can do that. And if you can do that, then it shows value because they feel like they know what they're getting from you. And nothing is more mind blowing than having a client see some behind the scenes footage and there's light stands, there's C stands, there's soft boxes, boom mics, cameras and cables. They like to see that. That feels expensive. Let me give you an example of how this is done in the car industry, right? Engines have gotten smaller and they produce more power. But when you pop that hood, if you don't see a big engine, you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth. Even though that big, that little engine with the twin turbo can produce more power, it's just something about seeing your hole under your hood just filled with stuff that makes you feel like you're paying for something. So what do car manufacturers start to do? as engines become smaller. It used to be you can get a 502 and a big Cadillac. It was producing 300 horses tops. Now you can get a 2.8 liter V6 twin turbo that's producing 600 horses, 500 horses. So what did they start doing to make you feel better? They started covering that engine with plastic. They started putting plastic moldings and all kind of cool stuff under the hood with big Cadillac logos and Chevy logos and 3.6. And so you can feel better about your purchase because you can see it, it's about value. Clients need to see how you create what you create. The more you show, the more expensive you can be because you are showing the client that we consistently make quality. We build quality content consistently. Here's proof. Often I go to a lot of you guys Instagram pages and this is where you should really be showing it. And I don't see behind the scenes. I see finished products, a lot of finished products and it needs to be behind the scenes. I would have behind the scenes images littered through your website as well. Don't send a proposal out without behind the scenes images. Remember what I told you, your client in their head, they don't understand why it costs eight, let's say 2000. They don't understand why it costs $2,000 to have you come out for two hours. In their mind, you're gonna hold a camera. They're thinking you're doing this still. 
with a microphone on it and they're going to talk. They're not thinking about lights. They're not thinking about diffusion. They're not thinking about bouncing light and different audio sources and cables and lav mics. They're not thinking about that. You're thinking about that thinking, well, I got equipment. I should be expensive. They need to see that equipment in use in order to feel like it's worth the price. Behind the scenes content shows that it is worth the price. Make sure you are showing enough behind the scenes images. Anybody who's taken my course that talks about building a portfolio, I go in even deeper detail on what you need to show, why you need to show it, where you need to show it, when you need to show it. So keep that in mind. So this here, this here is my GoPro. I got one of these um, clamps with an adjustable arm. I'm attaching this to a C stand, a light stand or something, pointing in the direction I want and I'm filming if I'm on a one man shoot or I'm doing time lapse or, or I'm taking pictures. What's great about it is you can control this from your phone or from your Apple Watch. You can actually see the image on your Apple Watch and snap away. You can download the images and go to social media immediately. So I always have one to two of these on set at all times. And I can just clamp this even to my tripod. I clamp it to my tripod, stick it out and face me while I'm working on the camera. It's a wide shot that gets me in the camera. If you've seen behind the scenes footage, if you're a gold member and you can go into the gold section and look at behind the scenes footage, a majority of it is captured with this. There's been times where I've set it up for a really long time lapse. I'll grab a battery bank and I'll run it to the GoPro. It'll run forever. I've done construction time lapses like that that have lasted days, if not months. And we get a really, really big battery, almost like a car battery with a converter connected to a lockbox, And we set it up there and we record construction. So there are ways to do it. You just need to be mindful of the fact that you need great BTS. Use your cell phone, grab some images of your cell phone. If you got a second cameraman, Ask him to take some pictures of you while you're working with his cell phone. My whole crew, we capture good images of each other throughout the day, just so we can have it for their Instagram, for my Instagram. We cover each other. We grab, if, if I'm, my camera's set up and I don't need to move it, I'm grabbing shots of my second camera guy. Usually I'm working with Ross or Matt or one of, I'm capturing shots of them. And those guys, we work together so much that they know, hey, we're always updating social media with behind the scenes images. I'm gonna tell you, I was hiring for an editor and a second shooter and I was getting demo reels and I was like, this is bad. I got it. That's why I made the course. I see a lot of bad demo reels. If your demo reel has no behind the scenes shots, if it's not building, it's not going to work. This is what I want you to look at. This is your homework for the week. Go look at demo reels for special effects companies. They don't just show you just a finished product. You'll see layers. You'll see the beginning with the green screen, then they dropped in the extra people, then they dropped in the backdrop, then they changed the sky, then they, like, you see them build it. When you see what they go through to build it, they look expensive, they look worth whatever they're asking for. I didn't know it was that much work. I thought you was gonna pull a clip of a dinosaur running and just put me in front of it. I didn't know you had to build the shadows on the leaves and the trees and the wind to sway everything in the same direction. When you watch their demo reels, you're blown away. Your demo reel should do the same thing. All right, guys, with that, I'm a wrap for today. Told you it's gonna be short and sweet. You need behind the scenes footage. You need it. Gotta have it. There's no excuse. You can get high off your own supply in this industry. It will help you become more profitable. Make sure you show it. Make sure you layer it. Make sure it's everywhere. You need a background image for your website? It should be behind the scenes footage. Something that you can turn the opacity down and look like art or whatever, use behind the scenes footage. Subconsciously, it plays a part in what clients think, feel, see, understand, what they value. Do me a favor, come on over to the community, community.flashfromacademy.com. It's two easy payments of free 99. Join the conversation. Let's have these conversations. Let's talk about stuff like this. Check out the podcast too. Search for content and cash. Make sure you guys rate us, write a review. I really appreciate it. For those that are listening on the podcast, much love to you because they wrote some outstanding reviews. I was blown away reading it. I love it. I appreciate it so much. Hey, keep in mind that the video you just watched contains clips from a longer lecture that's available to our gold members at flashfromacademy.com. You can go to flashfromacademy.com to watch the complete lectures if you want to get all the gems and all the information, or you can stay on the channel and continue watching some of our content here. Just click one of those boxes somewhere around here. Just, yeah, you know where to go.
right up in here somewhere wherever it pops up you you know what to do you got this <laughs>